So what is a stable design and site drainage plan and why is it important? Correctly chosen site levels and proper drainage of your site protects your house footings from excessive wetting and drying of the soils on site. Not protecting your footings could have disastrous consequences for your home. Here is an example of a typical residential civil and site drainage plan. It provides your builder, landscaper, paver and drainage contractors all the information that is required for site works to ensure your footings are adequately protected. Many considerations must be made when undertaking the design and engineering for a home, so let's now look at the main residential components of the civil design process. To begin the civil design process, an appropriate bench floor level is chosen. Pick a bench level. Start with equal cut fill, which means no importing or carting of soil. Instead, the cut soil becomes fill to make a flat site to construct the house. Choosing a higher bench level could mean an increase in cost due to the importing of soil. Neighbouring properties also have to be taken into consideration when choosing a BL. Choosing a lower bench level could mean carting away of soil and or increased heights of retaining walls. Choosing the wrong bench level could lead to damage of neighbouring houses. Stormwater from a property has to be designed for also. The BL can be critical when designing the stormwater system. A higher bench level is generally better as stormwater can flow via gravity flow to the road. A BL which is too low can cause flooding issues. One way to account for this is to provide a sump pump station to discharge the stormwater to the street. This is one solution but it can be very expensive and sometimes complex. Councils have different policies regarding stormwater requirements so it is important to have the stormwater system designed by someone like FMG. Some council areas are prone to flooding. Because of this, some councils may require the installation of detention tanks to slow down the flow of the stormwater to the street. Not having a good understanding of different council's requirements can cause additional costs and time delays. Incorrect stormwater design can lead to damage of your home, council infrastructure and neighbouring properties. Inadequate drainage can lead to damage to your home by flooding and or pooling of water near the house. Pooling water can lead to soil heave see another FMG video which explains soil reactivity, dampness of building, corrosion and mosquitoes. Other issues which must be taken into consideration include the following. It is important to note that during the construction phase the builder is responsible for ensuring temporary drainage and disposal of roof and storm water is managed. After handover it is the responsibility of the homeowner to ensure site drainage and paving is in place as soon as practical. For further details on civil designs and drainage plans, please contact FMG Engineering.